Procurement Services Division. It's nice. You got a nice open doorway here. Got some public information here. Good. Employees' rights. Yep. Employee Fair Labor Standards. OSHA. OSHA. So the standard stuff. They do have a little nice. Uh, was that a, like a fake flower display? Oh, interesting. It's actually painted into the wall. Here from back, back further away, it looks real. Does it? Yeah. Should we need further assistance, please ring the bell or knock on conference A door. Oh, it looks like cut out on the It's conference A door. What point is that? All of it pretty plain. Seems like a relatively new office. So got a new smell to it. <coughs> the problem is, is Good morning. Hi, I'm just trying to see what you need, if you need anything from oh, us. Oh, no, I didn't need anything. I would okay. ring the bell or knock on conference room A. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I just need their names and guard numbers, and yours as well, please. Okay, so identity. Who are you with? I'm sorry. Can I please have your name and guard who number? You, who are you with? I I need to know who you are asking me. Please. I'm being nice, and I'm going to continue to be nice. I don't want to. Let's de-escalate. Can you just? There's no escalation. Right. So let's just stop refusing to identify yourselves. If you're guards here, you work for the government. We're asking you who you are. Can you okay, first, you're going to have to step back past sure. the screening procedures. Sure. Uh, and if you want to come into the room, I'm going to you like everyone else. I'm hard of hearing, like I told this gentleman, that's why I moved up. So. Yeah, I have no problem with it. Right, are you entering the room? notices. Give me a second, I'm on the phone, so I'm going to listen to my phone Take phone your time. Phone. No, I need you not to record me while I'm on the phone. If listen you want privacy, phone. sir, you have to create it. Right. We're in public. So, let me give you a call back, Scott. There Thanks. you go. And again, I don't take directives from people who don't identify themselves. Major Heller said you need to, you know, I got
lights and chase them out of the building. Well, there's elevators here, so I'm assuming there's another floor, so let's see what's on the other floor. I believe the elevator's at right here, so we're going to go on up. Eighth floor, county attorney. Beautiful. It smells nice. Smell up, Kent. Very nice. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll let me find him and I'll have him return your call. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Right. Can I help you? We're just taking a tour of the facility. Yeah, but your video's taking me and I don't give you permission to. Did I need permission? I believe so, but I'll get Scott for you. Yeah. Do you need permission to take pictures of your kid at the beach? My kid doesn't go to the beach. What well, sucks for them? <laughs> <laughs> Living in Florida and not going to the beach, right? Huh? This close to the beach. Oh, here comes a gentleman. Oh. Yep. <laughs> You're not Scott, are you? Go. No, I'm going that way. And Mike, that's Mike. Like there's a birthday party or something going on in there. This is kind of comfy. This chair is. Wow. It's nice, nice stuff you buy with other people's God, money. Are you? This is comfy. Yeah. This in the, like sucks you in. Yeah. Listen, when you're spending other people's money, you'd be oh. surprised at the level of comfort you receive. <laughs> <clears throat> You know, you know what I've also noticed in the government offices? Every single one of them, they all have dual monitor screens. Yeah. Because they just can't get by on one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, were you right behind me? I was right behind you. Yeah, I, I guess I could have given you a heads up. They were coming out too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think about it. It doesn't but. make for a good cha-cha, though. Yeah. Well, it just forced a habit. I always stand with my foot. It actually would have hit her. They'll be up with you when they can. Okay. department. I'm just, just here to observe the public meeting. Come on if you want to have a seat. Yeah, no, I'm good. I didn't look if you needed anything. Nope, you're fine. Thank you, folks. Training room. 
I'm not sure what else we got going on here. This is like the bat cave right here with all the lights off. Yeah. Clerk of court misdemeanors, huh? IT office 5 looks like it's locked. Everything looks pretty secure up here. I'm sorry. Staying in there. No, just looking around, thank you. Um, you need permission to film. Can I help and you? And there is no permission given in this floor. We work for the clerk and we're not yeah. supposed to be filmed. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you stand here longer and film? I guess so now. Because I kind of don't understand that one. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm terribly sorry. We're fine. Out, He's freaking out. <laughs> we should ask him if he needs services help. We brought a guest with us. We want to talk to this guy. We brought a guest here. with us. He looks like he needs some services in here, man. Yeah, he needs this definitely guy's service. Tripping over himself and stuff in here on the phone. We want to check out him. Yeah. We might need to Baker act him. Yeah. He doesn't seem all right. I remember this guy. Hey. Didn't you play on Chips, the 1977 episode 33 with Eric Estrada? You, you look familiar, like an actor uh, that I saw one time on Chips. Do you guys remember that episode? What's that? Uh, Chips, back in 77. Uh, Eric Estrada, he, he, he laid down his bike, got scuffed up, and, and the paramedic guy looked just like this guy. That one episode, do you remember that? Well, I watched all of them a couple of times. <laughs> I love Chips. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this guy though. I think he it's like almost like a seizure he had. I think he needs medical help I and mean, that's I, a good thing we're here. I know, I know, cuz yeah, he's like fumbling and he came to the door, he was looking all Did, like Was he slurring his speech? Maybe. He he's was. Sweaty. He might have been having a stroke. He, he was. Somebody needs to check on that guy cuz he <clears throat> he had a stroke-like face and everything. That guy back there, man. Yeah, where'd you come yeah. from? Sixth floor. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we figured we'd leapfrog with you. Well, there was a uh, there was a uh, public meeting on the seventh floor. That oh, was it? I sat in for a minute. <laughs> yeah, Value guy, assessment board. This guy was following us around, followed us onto the elevator. Sweet. Yeah. I'll split up again and lose. <laughs> <laughs> Is he checking on that gentleman to make sure he's okay? I don't think he did. No? No, I don't think it's a very high priority task. Not a very good public servant, is he? No. Let's do both See, I'd let us do both yeah. elevators.
dollars. Spend it wisely. Sir, I have some cameras on me, but I assure you none of them are cannons. I have no weapons on me. I, have, I mean no ill will intent. Mine's a Sony, so I'm good. I don't even know what mine is. Mine is some crazy Chinese version. You got hey, do these flag. banners show up on my recording? No. Okay, good. Are you still waiting? I don't know. Did I, did I, I hit it? I thought surely by now there'd be a chariot awaiting us. Are we all good? I mean, it's, it's a, here is a public area. That's not a problem. Uh, what unnerved me is you were filming into a secure area. That's a problem. Okay. Just a but suggestion. This is a public area. No problem. Right. You're, so you're is the entitled to, to, to. Right. So is the hallway outside the door. Sure, sure, sure. Secure area like that. You want to keep people from looking in. Window tent. A sign. Easy enough. Yeah. That way people can't see in because. I don't know if you know what's called the plain view doctrine, but police use it all the time. Anywhere you're legally allowed to be, anything you see can be used as evidence. So if they're standing outside your home and your windows are open and you got a pound of cocaine there, they don't need a search warrant. They can come right in there and lock you up. Because anything you can see from where you're legally allowed so, to be. So where are you guys from? What, what, what's, what's, well, I'm, what's, I'm from my mother originally. but I, I know understand. So, I know what, some what, people what is this all about? You're filming it for a reason. Oh, yeah. We, we, we film all public buildings. So a lot of people don't like to go out uh, or gorephobics. Some people can't make it to their government centers, whether physical, financial, whatever kind of problems they're having. But the citizens still like to see what their tax dollars go for, what services they provide, how the public servants interact with the public. Because a lot of times, I don't know if you guys ever look at Google uh, Maps or whatever. So like, uh, let's say Google Maps this building. And there's a rating for all the buildings, all, all businesses. And government services are always down at the low end of the ratings because obviously public servants know that you can't go anywhere else to get your services so they can treat you like shit and you still gotta you still gotta buy their product. Well, well, who's the cons consumer? I mean, somebody's paying to have this done. Who's having this done? Well, I, I run I mean, a, I run independent, you, independent media. I'm independent media, so I run ads on my okay, my products. Well, media, if I wanted to go see this, where would I go find this? Well, I, I don't usually share that kind of information um, because I do investigative pieces, so I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too soon. But I go by Captain Awesome, and if you Google Captain Awesome, you'll, you'll find me. So, well known around the state. Been doing it over a year. 370 public buildings. Including the state house. Enjoy. This thing's like the longest elevator on the <laughs> South Florida here. It's probably like the computer where you press it twice, it just negates it. <laughs> right. You can probably take the stairs, huh? I don't know. Where's the stairs? Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to take the stairs. I'm going to go wait. Here's the internal audit. No one's inside internally auditing. The finance seems to be locked. And that's finance for the whole county. So if you're going to hit any public areas of property, we need to do what we're going to do. Private, yes, never. Yeah. Public accessible, though. Yes. We have to start He's up on the sixth floor. He's up on the sixth floor. I guess he's working on the wellness issue. That's why I told him to get full station. It's not our first run of the event, so. You may recall that uh, uh, veterans that uh, had no family in the area and All right. the community really came Double. together and put on a, a, a wonderful uh, ceremony right. in his honor. You can see a lot of pickup on the 
Is the uh, board meeting right now? Is that what I'm hearing? Or is that just a replay? Okay, so they're having a meeting? Okay. Is it still an open meeting or is it a closed yeah. meeting? It is open meeting. Yeah. Which, which? Yes, and this is the back of your service information we uh, ask Blue Ham and uh, group to reach out to them. Um, here's some uh, coverage on the uh, new sports complex. Uh, the uh, uh, Fort Myers uh, newspaper picked that up. Also some uh, good publicity this year on the Powerboat Nationals and Pro Watercross in the area. We, we got some good pickup and Radio seems to be a way for us to build local awareness of doing promotions with some of the radio stations. Uh, we, we're going to uh, really try that. And, uh, the FBU will, is another one that we're definitely doing that. We'll have a remote truck out there uh, a couple of times during the week uh, to build awareness that this is going on in the community so that we can grow uh, uh, attendance at the various events. Let's see, I'm going to skip over this one and I want to talk about tax collections because there certainly is some good news here. Uh, and recall that uh, we do a mo run a month behind with the tax collections, so these would be uh, uh, accommodation stays in the month of September. Uh, they pay that tax to the tax collector uh, in October, and then is, it's reported to us, and we report to you uh, in the month of November. So for, uh, this would be then uh, really the first month of the new fiscal year. So you'll see uh, that the uh, uh, current month and the year to date are the same because we only have one month at this point in the fiscal year. Uh, but uh, almost 16% up uh, in the month and in uh, and, and the uh, year to date. That's really good news. Uh, the largest uh, gain was certainly uh, in the hotel side, but you do see that uh, the individual side, which we've been certainly talking about, um, it, which does definitely include uh, the, uh, the condos and, and probably Airbnb, VRBO, and so forth. And these are those accommodations that are registered to collect the tax and are, are uh, reporting to the tax collector. And uh, so that's uh, uh, good news that the, uh, that average daily rate that we saw in the research data report uh, definitely is, is moving. Uh, up the, report about uh, this or anything too, or no? Yeah. Or were you just here? I'm just here. Okay. Yeah. Some really good news in the uh, uh, website, and I think uh, we'll have. More I thought that was one of you guys talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. They are on the second floor. Can I exit down through this way? No, you cannot. Exit the other way, sir. I can't exit this way? No. Okay. Can you please turn around back to where you're at? Yeah. Did we ever get the names for you folks? There's your exit. Yeah, I, I can see. No. We didn't get your names? No. No? G, G4S? Do you have a car, a supervisor? You can call our Fort Myers office. Fort Myers office. Okay, and just tell them the guards that we're working down here. Building F, Monday at 1030. At 1030.